Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mommy Maria Padilla. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a vlog. Today is, it's not a sad day, but today we are celebrating the life of my mom. My mom passed away December 23, 2023. She was 58 years old, and it's been very difficult, but we're surviving. And with this loss, it has taught me so much. The grief is difficult but we are powering through because my mom was a very strong woman so thankfully she passed on that strength to us today we are celebrating her life today with her friends her family those who truly love her they were all here today and we want to share that with you and also a few other things that happened um, lately so When I think of my mother, no one compares to her. I love like no other, she puts everyone else first. And when I was younger, I treated her the worst. Never known someone stronger, cause damn, it must have hurt. I don't see you as much as I used to But if I did, I know what I would do I tell you I love you a million times Say that I'm sorry if I made you cry Could never be half the woman even if I try But I try, I swear I try If someone puts me down, yeah, I know my worth all thanks to you, the lessons that I've learned If I had to put it into words I think of an angel and all I see is her Dearest mom Today I want to thank you I want to thank you for many things Thank you for all the summers in Japan. It taught us how to travel independently. We learned how to ski. Fear no roller coasters. You rode them all with us, and that's why I do the same for my kids. I love how we would watch Japanese TV shows, and you would translate it for us. In the morning, I would go to Lawson's to buy haagen strawberry ice cream and you would watch me from the balcony of Nogeyama. Summers in Japan is my most favorite childhood memory. Thank you for coming home to visit. I remember in one of those visits you had a full bag of Sanrio goodies for me and Ate. For her, Hello Kitty everything and for me, Caro, caro, be everything. I always had nice things in school because of you. One time I was in the hospital and you came home for me. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for always being fun. Thank you for the movies you introduced to us. I always remember our favorite movies together. Beaches, Stella, and mermaids. Whenever I hear the songs of James Ingram, I remember you. 
You have this scent that only you had. You said it was because you breastfed us, only later to find out hindi naman pala. <laughs> when I was breastfeeding my kids, I did it. So hopefully I would have that special scent and they would remember it too. Thank you for all the food that you cooked for me. Food was your love language. Thank you for the omu rice. She would, she would put like a heart or a smiling face on the omu rice with ketchup. The miso soup always felt like a warm hug. Sukiyaki and all. I was eight when you first let me try raw oysters. The canned peaches with canned cream always tasted better with you. A lot of my favorites were introduced by you. My favorite brands, favorite cologne, favorite shows. Thank you for always being proud of me. To you, I was the best at what I did. Thank you for my face. I know when I'm old, I will be beautiful because you were always most beautiful. <laughs> I am most grateful for the time you spent with Isabella. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> As we're swinging very fast, shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. 2017 and 2018 were the best times together. Mommy, can I have this? What? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, so the girl. Three times a week, you would go to the house and watch over Isabella, so that I could go to the studio without having to worry so much. I was able to go back to work because of you. Thank you for preparing all of Isabella's monthly celebrations. In all her playscape classes, I learned so much from you. I remember during those times, I wasn't confident with my cooking, so I would order all the time. And you taught me how to transfer them and said, Okay lang yan, anak. Kanya-kanya lang yan ang style. So my food always looked home-cooked because we transferred it well. <laughs> it was the closest we ever would. And I will forever cherish those moments with you. You were present. Thank you for loving my children, Isabella and Gabriella. Thank you, Mom, for the love. Thank you for the sacrifices and understanding. You were never afraid to give. Thank you for everything. Mom, the most important thing I want to tell you is I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the times I hurt you, all the pain I caused you. I'm mostly sorry that you didn't get to hear me say all of this when you were alive. I know how much you wanted to hear it. I love you, and though I miss you, I am happy for you, because I know everything you prayed for was answered. I look forward to the time I will reunite with you again. Love, Mama. This afternoon, we're going to celebrate for us for the eternal repose of April Sasson Ihata, the family and friends of April, seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from me. You've got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory.
wanted a message for me, hindi nag-send. Hindi nag-send kasi namatay yung phone niya or whatever. She was thanking me for, for sabi niya, thank you for your kindness. Sorry na you're excited kasi dinala ko siya sa house ni ate, di ba? Tapos dun sa end, sabi niya, thank you for your time and effort, anak. So, okay na. Happy na. My closure. I want to thank the Cupcake Lab. Thank you so much for making those cupcakes for my mom. The story is, she's called Nyanya. 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 Okay. Nyanya. Because when Isabella was small, she put together Nanay and Yaya. So Nyanya. Because she was taking care of Isabella every other day while I was at Showtime. Isabella called her Nyanya and my mom was so proud to be Nyanya. So she wanted to make like a takeout counter and call it Izakaya Nyanya. Everything was Nyanya. One of her greatest achievements, her greatest joy, was to be Nyanya. But thank you so much to the Cupcake Lab for making that cupcake possible. Also to Manila Craft, thank you for making those edible photos of Izakaya Nyanya. I'm sure my mom is really happy about that. I also want to thank Omameshi because it's the first time that they had an event like this in the restaurant that they allowed us. My mom lived in Japan for as long as I can remember. So Japan is very, very close to her. So we really chose a Japanese restaurant. My mom made the most amazing gyoza, the most amazing Japanese food. So since we're honoring her life, we, we chose this restaurant. My relationship with my mom, just like any other family, is not always perfect, but the love was always, always, always there. Though I'm sad, but I'm happy for her because she's now free. She's free of stress, free of pain, free of everything. And someone told me that her chapter in this life is done. That's why God, God got her. Because she's ready to move on to her next life. And I know that in my next one, I'll see her again. Siguro ang important learning dito, don't take things for granted. Yung sinasabi nila na you say I love you to your loved ones, you hug your mom, yung ganyan. Totoo pala yun. Kasi you really never know when it's going to happen to you. I always thought I would have more time with my mom. Pero God had other plans. But she lives on in our hearts and in our memories. I love you mom and I miss you. I hope that I made you happy today.